everyone here we are going to have a look at another use case of date ad if you're someone who has landed over here for the first time and you're a beginner with the DAX function you want to understand the date ad then this is the video which you must give a watch this covers a very very beginner level use case of the date ad if you don't want to go back and watch don't worry this is not very very this one is not going to be very very advanced it's going to be very simple and you'll be able to understand it very very easily let's continue with this okay so over here let me show you what exactly that i'm trying to solve with date add function okay so consider this is the data which i have there's nothing but credit card transactional data which is aggregated for each of the month total build amount is aggregated for each of the month so for the for example for the month of march i have this much of the amount aggregated which is nothing but 23.4 lakh okay now i want to compare this with the build amount two months back it can be anything six months back three months back and whatsoever for example i have taken two months back now what exactly that i'm trying to say is this so you see over here, you see over here, I have this current month of build amount and against that, I just got the two months back build amount put over here, right? Now, it is very, very easy for me to look at both of the things and compare, right? Now, another thing, I want to compare and find the difference between both of these two. How do I do that? What exactly that I'm trying to achieve is this. You see over here 23.4 lakh minus 8.5 lakh is gonna give me 14.8 lakh okay so this is exactly what i'm trying to achieve now let me show you very very quickly how i can achieve this so you see in this i have the same data if i have to give you a view of the data this is how the data looks like okay what exactly that i'm going to you utilize over here is the date column let me arrange the format these date columns together okay all that I require currently is honestly, I require reporting month. So that's something which I will be arranging rest of, okay, bravo, that is already arranged. I don't need to do anything, okay? So I'll go back over here. I'll take a metrics right over here. And before that, I already have created this one. I don't want to have this, right? So again, if I have to give you a few of my table, let me take you back over here. And you see this reporting month, and the build amount is something which I'm going to be using in my data. All right, so I'm back over here. Now, first of all, I would create a measure for the total build amount, you know. So how do I do that? Here I have the build amount. So for that, I'll right click this and this. I'm assuming that you are fluent with, you know, creating the measures and all those things, right? So just stay with me and I'm just going to create over here total build amount okay and over here nothing else just say build amount that is it the total build amount is created okay it just takes some bit of time okay and uh, after this all that i need to do is start with creating the matrix so in this first one which i require is reporting month all right so let me just put this oops it is looking like this so let me make it non-hierarchical and it's gonna look like this okay next thing which i require is total build amount against this right so this is what i need you see i got this all right wonderful right next thing the time comes when you need to use the date add to find to bring this value over here all right just next to that so just right click on the table name click new measures and let's just create this let's just create the new major over here i'm just going to say two months back all right and over here i will be using calculate function and what i need is total build amount for two months back so over here i need to use date add let me make it a little bigger so that it could be easy for you to understand right date add so in which column i want to add the date that is reporting month how many months i want to go back minus two months two months i want to go back so that's why i am putting negative two if i want to go forward then i'll put positive two now it is asking you want to switch by days 
by months, quarter or year. So you have already understood we want to go back by months. Now close this bracket and hit enter. Or you can also click on this, right? That's going to work the same way. All right, this is now I'll just collapse this and I'm going to take this one. Here is the measure which we just created, right? Now let's just click this. Bravo, you got it over here, right? Now the next one, the last one, which is to find the difference between both of these two. How do we create that? So there could be multiple ways, right? What I'm going to use is if else function, okay? So again, right click on this, right click, select this, right click on this, new mazes. There could be multiple ways of creating the mazes. Don't worry, whatever you find convenient, go ahead with that, okay? So here I'm going to create another mazer which is called diff. And over here, what I'll do is I'll use if function. I would say is blank. Which one is blank? Because I don't want to, you know, find the difference with this blank. I want to keep it blank as it is, okay? Is blank two months back, then keep it blank, okay? Else, what else that we need to do? Okay, I first need to close this bracket, okay? Is blank is done. Otherwise, if it is not blank, then what should we do? So simple, we need to subtract, we need to subtract from total build amount. And what we need to subtract is, total sorry two months back value okay now close this bracket and hit enter as soon as you do that you're going to get that fee, uh, that measure created over here and available in this pan right over here okay now let me just see where that is diff right so it's right here okay now all that i need to do is in the visualization pane let's just drag and drop in the values okay right over here now you got the difference all right so if you want to do the formatting by comma separator just right click on this not right click just select your attribute and in the measures tool here is what you need to click on okay this will give you the comma separated value it's a little slow for me right but this is how you can solve that i hope it was very very easy for you to understand just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section let me know how did you solve this kind of problem where had you used the date ad what exactly that you solved with the help of date ad what was the use case if it is very very interesting i'll create i'll try to create this uh, the same video and upload it over here thank you very much for giving to watch wish you very very good luck